Korean Christian Network uh, started in Korean program uh, at the beginning, but we are serving for Filipinos in Tagalog and English. So we are going to change the, our organization name. Kalayan <laughs> Communication <Wow>. Network. Kalayan. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, Simply, I will share. Mm, I believe a soldier is to kill, uh, and uh, a rifle is to uh, kill also. So, when they uh, have it, the rifles, uh, killing efficiency can be great. And uh, um, ambassador or a priest or mediator can use uh, media uh, to share gospel or to build a bridge between two parties so we can make a better synergy so a gun became a machine gun and the bomb missile ICBM nuclear bomb all are <coughs> improving so uh, military force used to get a better quality or power uh, to use the purpose. But our aim is not to kill, but to build the God's kingdom so uh, mediator can use media with a, uh, a better uh, technique, uh, optimum. So we consider, recognize us, uh, bridge builder, international Philippine, or church world, professors and uh, uh, pastors or trainers and the trainees and the uh, next generation can be connected uh, by media in a lot of ways but media can serve in that way so we can uh, we think uh, trading uh, spiritual or intellectual trading we are doing even though uh, we are not creator or we are not creative but uh, we can uh, bring uh, trade some good things such so like you we can uh, take you and then uh, bring you to all of the world. So when we figure out the need exactly, uh, and uh, when we find the uh, resources, uh, best resources, we can meet the need uh, by the trading something. Our KCM ministry uh, for Philippines uh, first Philippine Mission Mobilization Program with the PMA and the other Church Leadership Enhancement Program. That is two areas of KCM. First, mission mobilization and training. Our basic strategy is to uh, get a good mission mobilization site by media. So, Southern Baptist Mission Congress or Asia Missions Association, we covered that all. Manila International Mission Conference or Global Summit, we have a covers. In that <coughs> conference, they used to say uh, the mandatory or calling a mission of Filipino churches or strategy or example <coughs> or testimony, they can be good uh, content for uh, Filipino Christian or pastors. And the other, Global Pinoy, we produce this one with the PMA. We invite a good example, a mission example, and uh, we set the host uh, PMA and uh, his uh, interviewer and uh, some good uh, Ralph Karai was the interviewee at the time. Anyway. Uh, we want to expose a good, ex uh, good mission uh, example to Philippine um, churches. Uh, as I mentioned, the second area of our ministry is uh, church leadership enhancement program. As you know, Philippine church experienced very rapid growth, big growth in, in a short uh, time, but the uh, training equipment for the leaders' church pastors are not following with them. So 
we are producing uh, good contents from the field and uh, deliver. Uh, one of that uh, is Applause Project, Hermeneutics, Exegesis, Homiletics, and the Bayanian Church Planting Movement, uh, Philippine Challenge. And the Walk Through the Bible, there is summary of Old Testament and New Testament also. In training for trainers, uh, we have covered that uh, during seven months with the Philippine Challenge. Uh, this Bayanian and the NCD uh, was donated uh, by Philippine Challenge and we are sharing also. Joy at work with the uh, ATS, uh, Paul Stevens, and uh, servant leader, and the fundraising and the fundraising by SNS. These contents are taken uh, uh, from uh, we took that content uh, from ATS, so Christian uh, MBA course. Uh, complete also, and uh, continuing studies, Bible introduction, uh, and the transformation. Uh, Dr. Ingma, we have uh, taken the uh, last lecture of this ATS professor. And uh, at here, contextualization, uh, Darrell Whiteman was the speaker in symposium. So uh, this kind of content we have uh, produced. So we used to uh, be asked, can media equip leaders, leadership uh, equipping? So I don't believe media can equip pastors enough, but uh, in equipping uh, leaders, spirituality or uh, discipleship, relationship, integrity, knowledge, or some others, among them, some parts can be taken, uh, can be equipped uh, by media. So uh, I don't believe media can do all things, but media can do something. Uh, possible in knowledge, so understanding of God's word or leadership theory, or history, strategy, or insight in mission, or some others, that uh, they can be equipped by uh, media also. So we recorded and uh, uh, uploaded to YouTube and the sharing in public, but uh, public means all are exposed, but no obligation. So we are making. Uh, Cyber Ministry Academy uh, to make a course and uh, giving some uh, benefit for the uh, student or let them uh, watch it through. So this is the site, uh, Cyber Ministry Academy, gokcn.net. So um, we uploaded all our contents with our program, gokcn.net. Uh, go you can find this picture, uh, these pictures, and uh, some courses uh, introduced at here. And uh, in this this time, leadership Bible, some categories are shown. And uh, when you choose, uh, for example, uh, Bible uh, Bible study, you can find uh, Apollos project. You can find uh, three subjects: hermeneutics, exegesis, homiletics. And then uh, you can choose uh, one of the uh, exegesis, and you can find some video clips. Uh, in this exegesis, uh, around four hours, each clips are 30 minutes something. So w when and then when you click the clips, uh, it is linked with uh, YouTube already, and then uh, you can watch. And all watching record will be uh, saved in under the uh, login account. So all account will be uh, will record the activity. So <coughs> um, we provide the uh, guest ID, uh, guest and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. But uh, we recommend to register on there and uh, when they register uh, their history or their uh, this uh, is done already uh, this subject 
and others are not yet. And uh, we can uh, trace what he is doing and learning or watching there. So benefit equipping and improving um, uh, by media and uh, we can provide a certificate even though uh, KCN is providing, it's just beginning, but we are developing a uh, diploma or degree with uh, some institution. Uh, and uh, reproduction, reproduction means trainee can uh, train the other trainees by uh, media or they can if, even though they are not capable to teach enough, but uh, they can introduce to others. So on developing what is needed for pastoral subject and who can teach it and how can let them uh, learn well, we are on developing so you can contribute in these uh, areas. So that's why I invite you, all of you. So collaboration, collaboration needed, suggestion and uh, recommendation uh, to others to register on uh, gokcn.net and the field teaching uh, with the media. Uh, innovative theological seminary, they uh, are accredited uh, by PBT, uh, PABATS already. They are trying to provide the uh, contents by online plus offline. So KCN is the online contents provider. So ISHRM is the main body. They hotel management and the restaurant management. They are going to set up a new uh, innovative theological seminary because president of ISHRM, International School uh, of Hotel and Restaurant Management, because the pastor, president is pastor and uh, he is senior pastor of one Filipino church and uh, his network <coughs> is uh, still uh, not small already. So they need, they have, uh, they need to uh, train their pastors, but not traditional way. Uh, so innovative theological seminary in subject and in methodology also. So KCN is going to uh, cooperate uh, with the uh, seminary. But uh, our one condition, uh, collaboration with them, is not to be limited in that institution. We want to serve uh, them, but uh, this uh, all contents or methodology or all system will be served for others also. This is one example, one try only. Uh, but we want to develop uh, by, uh, with them. And uh, when we get a good result, all result or contents will be shared with other uh, theological seminary or uh, Bible school or institution. So our goal, uh, KCN, uh, hope, uh, is to uh, set up uh, every uh, Bible schools or uh, Bible seminaries. Let them go and have uh, one additional uh, channel, a cyber ministry or a media course. So I believe they are doing well, but they are not doing uh, this, uh, this way. So we can provide and uh, we can develop more. So I want to uh, arm one more channel. So this day, uh, already uh, understood uh, the importance of media or online, so we are going with them, but uh, I want to uh, go with you, uh, that's my point. Field training is very important. Uh, so we, are, we have done uh, Biotas pastoral training. Uh, during 10 months, we have a shared Apollos project uh, with them, uh, around 50 uh, pastors each time. And it's two hours a month and the 10 months is we have done. So two weeks ago, uh, we had a simple uh, certificate uh, giving a ceremony regarding two courses. Uh, so when they attend, they used to pay registration uh, fee around 30 pesos and uh, all materials uh, they both purchased already. But uh, 30, about 50 or 60 pastors gathered, it means even though it is in media, but still it is effective. And uh, they have uh, uh, learned a lot uh, from the contents. And the topic, I'm going with the topic for a long time already. Trainers of Pastors International Coalition, that is under PCEC. 
and the educational um, PMA is mission mission arm and uh, uh, topic is educational arm. So uh, this is uh, uh, one month ago we I attended there and they shared my ministry. Uh, their purpose is to equip pastors by uh, mentoring. So they train trainers to train pastors. That is their purpose. So purpose is absolutely the same with us, but methodology is different. They are doing uh, mentoring, but we are doing uh, media. So when we go together, uh, much uh, uh, better uh, each other. Uh, but up to now, we could not make uh, good uh, fruit yet. But uh, time to time, especially when we have a, a cyber ministry academy course, they are very interested in here uh, our contents and uh, they used to uh, challenge them to make uh, disciples mentoring uh, for pastors but contents still needed all pastors are trainers are equipped already but a new trainer needed to be trained also so this our media contents uh, can train the trainees um, together so the topic is one our field uh, field activity also, and the last month I uh, have taught three days around fourteen hours Philippine Evangelical Seminary. It is Korean semin uh, seminary established by Korean missionaries in Kabit uh, in Silang. So around thirty students attended, but uh, generally fifty or sixty students are studying uh, one week. Uh, per one month. So during one week, a uh, whole day and night, uh, they are learning from there. So I shared uh, media ministry, but eight hours I have uh, played hermeneutics and exegesis. As you know, eight hours watching a video is very boring, mm -hmm. but during very long time, uh, tension was not uh, uh, weakened at all. And the, their eyesight was so strong, and uh, I realized the possibility of the media ministry. And uh, one of uh, Bible school students donated 500 pesos. <laughs> so that was a very uh, big challenge for me. <laughs> and uh, Food for the Hungry, uh, FHI? International. Anyway, Food for the Hungry International. Uh, they are having uh, training for a step, a step leadership school. So monthly, they gather their steps uh, one night, two days maybe. But uh, rest days, uh, they want to train them by uh, KCN Contents uh, Cyber Ministry Academy. That is a kind of collaboration with us. As I uh, showed, uh, we have uh, some programs, Applause Project and uh, Christian MBA and the ATS Extension Program and the Good Speakers. Yes, Good Speakers. Yeah. And the Walks Through the Bible, Contextualization, the Philippine Challenge, something. But we don't know it will be effective for Filipino unequipped pastors. So we have a uh, uh, train on uh, field training, hermeneutics and exegesis only, and uh, we shared uh, joy at work for Christian businessmen. So Korean Christian businessmen uh, used to give some uh, speech to them, uh, their employees, but I encourage them to uh, play joy at work. Uh, to give uh, some uh, motive for uh, work, their work, something. But all others are on uh, YouTube and uh, on public, but we need to uh, use it more. So we are on planning to make uh, some other content. Crossways Bible study. Uh, an elder, Vic Pabellon in Jambuanga, he has taught 
uh, Crossways Bible study for long, many years, around uh, 25 years already. But he is getting old, almost uh, old. So I want to capture his teaching in uh, English or uh, Tagalog. And second, Dr. Ong Eun, he is president of PBTS, Southern PBTS. Uh, and but he has he has served for tribal mission in. Palawan and uh, Mindanao for a long time, 15 years. So that is three days is one session, uh, and then five modules. And then when they finish, uh, these tribal pastors uh, can be given a graduate uh, with some ceremony. Anyway, Church Renewal International uh, established uh, from uh, America, maybe, but he has served for tribal uh, pastors a lot. So. I want to uh, capture uh, that contents in uh, video, and the TEE also, and the Bible Training Center uh, for Pastors. I uh, I heard this program from South Africa, so one of Korean missionary uh, came from South Africa, and uh, this contents uh, ten volumes of. Uh, Bible training uh, course uh, in book and the system. So it was quite good he recommended. So I'm thinking to uh, make a, a video yet. But when we start one series, it will take a, a very uh, long time and big effort. So uh, your recommendation or your guide is needed and not to make a uh, uh, to make a good uh, result. So I want to listen your... Yeah, that's uh, what I have... Uh,